Hey, all right. Hey, here's my um, project. I made a wood stove for the barn out of uh, three truck rims. And yes, I did get the idea off of uh, YouTube. I know Chucky2009 made one. And there's another uh, video, I'm not sure who posted it, of, some, of an older one. So, you know, I thought, what a good idea. So I took some of their ideas and I added them together and I, I made my own. I put the louvers in the back. A six inch stack. I got a hot plate on the top. And mine's 100% made from scrap and homemade. Even the door, the spring is from my broken um, Fisher plow. Here's the door. I'm not sure if you can see inside, but I got a grate inside there. Enough room, I think, to get in there to clean out ashes. It actually closes pretty nice. Here's my uh, damper for air. And like I say, all made from scrap, 100% scrap. The tires I use, I mean, the wheels I used are, um, what are they, 11R 22.5, I think it was. I think they're called Dayton style rims. Um, steel, of course. And that's it. So I'm going to light a fire in this and let it burn off the paint and burn off the rust. And I'll get a coat of black paint on it. So let me get a fire going. One more thing uh, before I light the fire in there. I do have a small stack on there right now because I want to put a damper in, in the inline just to control the draft. So what I did, let me get a, uh, let me get a spot here. Let me get my gloves off. I went on to my local hardware store and I bought this six inch damper. But look right there, made in China. You know, I, I can't put that on the stove. I can't do it. So what I did, I went on uh, eBay actually and I found Another six inch damper, I'll go this way, a better light. And this one here you can see, made in USA, um, Pennsylvania, United States. The Griswold, Erie, Pennsylvania. And right there, American six inch. So, this is what I'm gonna put in. I just can't, cannot put a uh, made in China piece of, uh, piece of crap damper in there. So, I'm gonna drill two holes in the side for the pivot and um, Put a couple stacks on real quick and we'll be ready to go. I think I'm ready to, uh, to give this thing its first burn. I have some paper, not much. Um, I have some wood, but not much kindling, mostly um, larger wood. I just hope it's dry enough. And I have a lighter that does not work. Does not work, son of a, you know what? There we go. Close it up and let's see, uh, see what happens. Open up our draft and with a little bit of luck, we, it's drawing pretty nice. I can see a nice flame inside. All right, it's been a couple hours and the stove is cooking away. It's actually working beautiful. You can see it going right up the stack there. I may have to stiffen this piece here up on the bottom. It's uh, starting to warp a little bit. But definitely, it's a little windy out here today. But this thing puts out a lot of heat, a ton of heat. So I'm gonna keep feeding it. I have a little bit more wood over here inside. So I'm gonna keep bringing this paint off, this uh, orange is, you know, paint um was smoking like crazy but we're getting there i'm very pleased with it it's working absolutely better than i'd expected hey all right next day and here is my finished project i put it back in the barn i wire brushed it wire wheeled it to get as much you know burnt crap off as i could and i gave it a quick uh coat of i guess you can say a barbecue black and that's the finished project so i'm pretty happy with it i'm actually i'm very happy with it it worked beautiful and from made you know made from scrap everything and 100 percent homemade 
Not too bad at all. Let me show you inside real quick here. Yep. From the night before. I'll clean that out later on. And I worried about it right now. Even though the handle works beautiful, you know, it just can't get any better than that. So, I just wanted to kind of show you my version of a um, wood stove made from truck rims. And there it is. So, thanks for watching.